Holy shit. We got, we got some shit to talk about, man. We got a lot to talk about. So, uh, first of all, I just want to say, um, how y'all doing? Uh, second of all, I just want to say that, um, a bit breezy out today. Um, and it feels nice because it is cooling down, um, and it's a bit less humid than it's been the past couple of days, um, and that's pretty much all that I'm saying in terms of, like, in terms of, uh, fucking, you know, shit that's been going on, you know what I mean? Um, the third thing is, uh, so, I've been hearing a lot about this, um, guy in Minneapolis, uh, that got killed by this cop, right? It was a black guy. Um, it's been causing riots, literal fucking riots, not protests, riots. And people are making it a racial thing, right? Because even though in a, some ways I do believe that law enforcement is still is just as ass backwards when it comes to race as they were 50 years ago. Um, I don't think that it's just black people that that happens to. I think it's everybody that that happens to. And here's my thought. Because the dude did not get put in jail for murder. He only got fired. That is not enough. Regardless of who he's doing it to, if it's a black guy, white guy, you know, Arab, Latino, Asian guy, whoever the fuck he's doing that to, whoever is doing, whoever is like killing somebody while they're handcuffed on the ground, if you're a cop, right, you should be able to pay the price when it comes to that. You should be able to deal with the consequences of killing somebody. It shouldn't be this, just because you're a police officer means that you get a, jail, a get out of jail free card. This isn't fucking Monopoly, okay? Like, the, like it's just insane that like this has been going on for so many years right and (laughs) nothing's been done about it it keeps happening to like everybody to like every race of people um to every single like a nationality you know, either sex or every single race of people. Who is the, who are the people that do this? The fucking cops. If that, like, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to repeat myself again. If there are any people watching this right now thinking that I am a hundred percent biased against police, that is not the case. I know plenty of good cops or I don't know plenty of good cops but like I, I've I've ran into plenty of good cops you know what I'm saying that aren't pieces of shit that you know I think that just because you know just because they are in law enforcement means that like they can get away with whatever and I was just talking with my buddy Tanner about this. Shlama should go check him out. I was just talking with him about this. Like, if you are working in law enforcement, right? There is a def- uh, there is a fine line between crooked cops and good cops. Okay, same and you know vice versa with the rest of society. There's good people and bad people. 
And I remember watching this episode of uh, Better Call... What the fuck? Oh, that was a toad. Jesus. Of Better Call Saul. And, um, you know, you remember Saul, the lawyer from Breaking Bad, right? That's basically in his point of view, that TV show. So, there was this one time where the old guy from Breaking Bad showed up in that and he started dealing drugs. And there was a guy that he was with that was dealing also. And he was like, I'm not, you know, does, the, does this mean that I'm a bad guy? And he's, and the old guy's like, you're not a bad guy. You're just a criminal. And the one dude is like, okay, what's the difference? And he said, there are crooked cops and there are good criminals. And there are bad criminals and there are good cops and with that whole philosophy of you know with that whole philosophy it's like not every cop is bad not every civilian is bad but there is a fine line between those two that divide um that you know basically divide those two groups you know what I mean um so and he basically said that and it kind of relates to back to this situation with the black guy that got beat up in Minneapolis and how there are literal fucking riots right now as we speak as far as I know the cop that killed that dude did not get fought or he got fired, but he didn't get arrested. He didn't get put in jail for murder. This is how I put it, right? If you like, like if you get caught doing something, right? And especially if it's recorded, like that, that type of shit should not like, that type of shit does not mean just because you are a cop does not like that doesn't mean that like it's like a get out of jail free card fuck that shit if you get caught doing something you ain't supposed to be doing you go to jail like it's 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 fucking it's simple like fuck man like this whole like philosophy of cops thinking that they could get away with everything is what really pisses me off because I've seen this a lot happening over the past you know 10 or so years ever since I started opening my eyes a lot more to shit that happens and like it's just fucking it's the same old shit. It's like if a cop gets caught doing something, nine times out of ten, they aren't going to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if a cop is beating somebody up, right, and, you know, just because they're police officers, that means that they fucking, you know, that, that, that means that, like, there's there's only so much that happens to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like your whole life is ruined. It's like, no, either you go to jail, you get fired, or you get suspended from your job, or you get fucking extra vacation time. And, you know, all that other, all that other bullshit, right? And, it's, it's, it's either one or the other with them. You know what I mean? Um, But if a regular fucking civilian gets caught doing the same shit, it's like, oh, this dude's over here fucking, you know, he's going to be doing like 20 to life. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you'll be out in 10, you know, like it's, it's absolutely fucking retarded. I don't know why nothing's been done about this it it, it shouldn't just be happening like with like you know black people versus cops or white people versus cops right like this shit should be civilians regardless of who they are what they look like what the color of their fucking skin is 
it should be the civilians against the cops because we're the ones pretty much every single time that that become victim because the cops like to think that like if I beat the shit out of this guy I'm not going to go to jail for it if I beat the shit out of this guy it's not you know my career isn't going to be in fucking jeopardy right so yeah that's basically you know to basically sum this whole fucking topic up it's just like regardless if you're a regular civilian or if you're a cop if you get caught doing something that you ain't allowed to fucking do if it's something that's super fucking illegal if it's something that morally or ethically isn't even right regardless if it's a civilian or cop but mostly cops because they're the ones that whenever they get recorded doing shit like this they're the ones that just brush it off like it's no big deal this is mainly pointed at the cops if you get caught doing something you ain't allowed to do you should be able to pay the consequences that's just simple the whole philosophy behind you know privileges and having your privileges get taken away from you it's the same thing like how in grade school whenever they would teach young kids it's like if you disobey these rules these privileges like you know extra recess time or whatever the fuck like that gets taken away from you it's the same fucking it's the same philosophy with like real world scenarios you get caught doing something you ain't supposed to be doing you should be able to pay the consequences for it now with that being said i would just like to reiterate on what the fuck i said earlier there are good cops and there are bad crooked cops there are good people and there are bad people so not all, like you know not all cops are like that not all people are like that but it's just the cops that think that just because they are police means that they can walk away unscathed you know they're a free fucking man but it's like whatever you know what i mean so man <laughs> holy shit man what the fuck is going on with this fucking year man like it's it's also like how my friend my my buddy tanner you know slamashella what he said 2019 is the year nothing happened 2020 is the year where everything happened so yeah peace and love